this is the spleen, left diaphragm, the left kidney, and in the left kidney, this is the upper pole. The upper pole calluses are dilated minimally, and from here a tubular structure is seen extending up to the uh, renal pelvic pelvis. From here to this one. Now I'm going to freeze this on the right side of the image, and we will proceed further. This is the lower pole, and at the lower pole you will see another tubular structure. Yeah, this one. Now this is this this is the tubular structure, uh, the ureter, emanating from the upper pole dilated callus. It is the same one, this and this one. Both are same. Now this is emanating from the lower pole calluses. So this is a case of, uh, this is the lower pole and this is the ureter, both are uh, combining together. And this is a case of uh, double collecting system along with, uh, no, tracing it further, I can very well see a calculus in the mid ureter. Here it is. Now this is the mid ureter. This is the lower pole of the left kidney and this is a calculus in it meaning approximately 9.2 mm in length. Now see it again. This is the calculus. This one. This is the calculus. This is the calculus. This is the ureter. And you will see it will it is it will not take blood. So it is not taking breath. And it raises my confidence that uh, what I am seeing is in fact a ureter and not a blood vessel. Here you can see. the kidney is seen normal. Let me show you once again. Now, this is the uh, ureter and this is the calculus in its mid region, this one. Here it is. The kidney is being perfused normally, has normal resistive index. However, this is a case of double collecting system. One. And the two. With a calculus in the mid region. You see here, one, two, combining. Now this is the mid, uh, mid ureter calculus in this region. Thank you very much.